One of the duties of 8-1 Cav's Bravo Troops Striker Unit assigned to Ford Operating Base Spin Bolodek on the Afghan-Pakistan border is to gather information on civilians and insurgents to assist with tracking and surveillance. The tool they utilize for the task is the handheld interagency identity detection equipment system, otherwise known as HIDES. Striker Team Leader Army Staff Sergeant Quinn Moeller says the system is a crucial asset in winning the unconventional type of warfare the U.S. military is facing today. The mission here in Afghanistan, obviously with uh, an insurgency-based fight, uh, you don't always know who the enemy is just by looking at him on the street. With the HIDE system, you can unequivocally identify somebody uh, that you may have run into before. Being able to identify someone 100% and make sure that they're the guy that you're looking for is absolutely invaluable. This technology is even more important in a country of more than 28 million people where few have government-issued identification. Striker platoon leader Army First Lieutenant Patrick Kohler says keeping an updated, accurate record of the population is essential to weeding out insurgents. Uh, the hide system, it, it, uh, it helps out pretty well. Um, especially when we do TCPs along the highway. You know, if we run into any kind of bad guy, you know, it'll, it'll pop up and it'll let us know, hey, this guy, you should stop him, you should ask him what he's doing, you should question him. It helps out to spot any kind of suspicious activities. The system stores personal information and is capable of picture taking, iris recognition, and fingerprint scanning. According to the U.S. Army's Biometric Task Force, hides resulted in the arrests of more than 400 high-value suspects in Iraq and Afghanistan in 2008. Marine Corporal Mark Morgenstern, Ford Operating Base Spinboldak, Afghanistan.